welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials, but today is Friday Sews. And also I wanna tell you about my trip to Lakeland for the Sewing and Quilting Expo. And I have pictures to show you of all the other sewing sisters I met at the expo. So let's get started. This is Friday Sews. <laughs> to the Sewing Expo a few minutes before they opened at 10 a.m. And the first booth I went to was the sewing studio. And I bought, they had, they had a bunch of knit fabric, apparel fabric for $5 a yard. Wait till you see the one I bought. I love it. And here's the knit fabric I bought. It is got a beautiful border print at the bottom with polka dots and the flowers. And the flowers get less and less as you go up the top of the fabric. So I think this would make a beautiful, beautiful dress. I have four yards of this, so I'm gonna make a dress and a top out of this. I love it. So pretty. Let you get a close up of the of the print. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to make a dress out of this. So pretty. So that was the only fabric I bought. And while I was shopping for fabric, I met another YouTuber. Um, her name is Marty from, from Sewing Nerd Confessions. And she was a hoot. She was so much fun. We had fun looking at fabric and walking around the expo. And um, so if, you, if you've if you never seen uh, Marty's channel before, I'll put a link to her channel in my description box below. Check out her channel when you get a chance. I just watched one of hers and it was an amazing video. It's called Creative Upcycling Part 1, Episode 10, where she turns men's jeans into the most beautiful, one-of-a-kind, creative jacket I've ever seen. And I love her creative process that she goes into. So check out her channel and that video. That was amazing. And Marty, thank you for hanging out with me at the expo. It was so much fun. It was so great meeting you. Hope we can do it again one day. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I have a photo of a surprising way someone used their Cricut or vinyl cutting machine in a very creative way. And I found it in the parking lot when I was leaving the expo. At noon on Friday, we got to meet all the different sewing YouTubers that do Friday sews. And here is a picture of me and Deb. She's from, she has her own channel called Deb's Way. It was so nice meeting her. She was so sweet. And I'll be sure to put a link in my description box of all the channels I mentioned today. And next I met Christine from Christine Sews A Lot. Here's a picture of me and her. She was really sweet. And now here's a photo of me and Carmen from Carmen Salome. She has her own sewing YouTube channel. And then I met Heather. She has a channel called Textile Tailored Thoughts. And now here's a photo of me and Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room and Trish from Pinky's Farm. Thank you, Jen, for starting this hashtag Friday Sews. What a blessing to be a part of this sewing community. And here's a photo of me and Michelle from Michelle Sews Again. It was so great to finally meet her. She is so sweet and I just love the top she made. So pretty. I love that green and the blue. And here's a photo of me and Maddie from Maddie Sews. She came all the way from Maryland. So it was great finally getting to meet her too. And here's a photo of Carol from Sew so Carol. She came all the way across the pond from the UK. It was so overwhelming just getting to, to meet everybody from Hashtag Friday Sews that I didn't even realize until I got home that I forgot to get a picture with Izzy from Dizzy Quilts and Sews. And so I'll put a picture of her up here right now. And I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below. I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to really meet you, Izzy. But it was just, I was so overwhelmed by it all. It was amazing and overwhelming for this introvert. I'll put a link to everybody I mentioned in this video. I'll put a link to their channel in the description box below. And here's a little photo of my husband. What a sweetie. He drove me all the way to Lakeland and sat in the lobby or in the car watching his phone or listening to his shows on his phone while I was at the expo. He was so sweet. And then after the expo, when we were leaving, look at what we saw in the parking lot. It was so cute, I had to take a photo. What a cute idea. Somebody put this on the back of their Kia Soul. 
And then after we left the expo, we stopped at the super, the Goodwill Superstore in Lakeland, Florida. Um, and I found this beautiful king size sheet and there is not one stain on it. I washed it really good and I forgot to take it out so it wouldn't wrinkle, but it kind of wrinkled. But look at it has, it's a beautiful white, 100% cotton. But see, can you see the little, it almost looks like a Swiss dot, but it's not. It's just like little, little bumps like little circles, little circle dots, but it's so pretty and it's so soft. So I know I'll do something with this. I love white and I just love that little detail on it. So this was a king size fitted sheet and it was $4 and it is beautiful. Thank you for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.